Hi YouTube, Roleplay Geek here. If you've been following my blog, you'll know that one of the things I love about the roleplay hobby is the crafting, in particular making maps. If you've ever DM'd a game yourself, you'll know that a good map can save you a huge amount of effort, and in my short mapping software series, I covered some of the free software solutions you can use to create your own maps. One of these solutions was the free 3D package SketchUp, which I use a lot in my maps to get an idea of scale, or if I'm making a papercraft version of a vehicle or a building. I was recently contacted by Joe Wetzel over at Inkwell Ideas to help out with his Dungeon Morse 2 Kickstarter which aims to create a series of dice and cards to let you randomly generate a village or a city in seconds using the popular geomorph concept. Whilst making some of these top-down view geomorph tiles, I was struggling to come up with interesting shapes for the buildings. Frankly, they were coming out looking quite similar. Here you can see a series of roof shapes viewed from above in the traditional top-down view used by most urban maps. But when we rotate the view to show the third dimension, it reveals a lot more information. This map is very similar to the last one, but when we rotate the view to reveal the third dimension, you can see that the buildings are quite different from the previous example. As you can see, the roof shapes only tell us how wide or long a building might be. It can't tell us how tall it is, or any of the wall details such as doors, windows or balconies which the PCs might be able to see from ground level. That's enough for now. In future episodes I'll be showing you how to create some of these buildings from the ground up. Don't forget to check out the links in the video description and thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.